views of homosexuality have changed pretty dramatically uh, over the past 50 years, uh, both within the psychological community and also in the society at large. Uh, so let's see, prior to 1973, uh, homosexuality was considered uh, a mental disorder in the DSM, which is the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual, uh, which is the chief tool used by psychiatrists um, to diagnose mental illness. And about this time in the early 70s, more and more evidence was mounting to suggest that homosexuality is not a mental illness. Uh, there was no data, uh, there were no data linking homosexuality and psychopathology. And so in 1973, the board of directors at the American Psychiatric Association um, removed homosexuality from the DSM. And shortly thereafter, uh, the American Psychological Association followed suit, um, declaring homosexuality is not a mental uh, disorder. Currently, uh, organizations such as the American Psychological Association, the American Psychiatric Association, the American Medical Association, the American Academy of Pediatrics, have all put forth statements um, endorsing gay rights, including the right to marry and the right to have children and to parent. So in addition to changes in attitudes within the psychological community, we've also seen changes in the society at large. And we can simply look at film and television to see this change. Uh, there's been a huge increase in the number of gay and lesbian characters portrayed in the media, as well as the positivity of these portrayals. Uh, in addition to the media, we can look at general social survey data to get a pulse of, uh, of people's attitudes towards homosexuality and how they're changing with time. Uh, so the general social survey is a survey that's been given virtually every year since uh, the early 70s. And one of the questions that's asked on this survey has to do with people's attitudes towards homosexuals, particularly whether people think that homosexual relations are always wrong, ranging to never wrong. And in the 70s, uh, ver uh, it was roughly about 70% of people who uh, said that homosexual relations were always wrong, and only about 10% of people who said that they were negative, never wrong. If we fast forward um, years later to, let's say, 1998, uh, we can see those numbers really changing. So at this point in 1998, it's about 50% of people, uh, just a little bit more than 50%, that say homosexual relations are always wrong. And at this point, it's a little more than 30% that say they're ne never wrong. If we fast forward to now, to 2010, we see the switch even more so. Uh, and in 2010, for the first time ever, in Gallup poll data, we see a switch where more people are saying that homosexual relations are morally acceptable than are saying that they're morally unacceptable. Uh, and I think these attitude trends are just gonna continue with time, particularly because younger people um, are showing even more positive attitudes than older cohorts. So there's every reason to believe that these shifts that we've been seeing over the past uh, number of years are going to continue in the same direction as we head into the future.